Now I'm going to talk about frequency distributions and cumulative frequency tables. These are two different ways of displaying qualitative data in a way that's a little bit easier to read than raw data. So a frequency distribution lists each measured category and the number of occurrences of each category. So let me show you an example of that because that's a little bit hard to get. So imagine that you reached into a bag of candy 16 times and pulled out the following colors of candy. Record your results in a frequency distribution table. So just below that I have, you know, 16 candy pulls. We pulled out red candy, green candy, and blue candy. So we could pretty easily organize it into a table like that, where we have red, green, and blue, and you can see the frequency of each of the pulls that we pulled out six reds, six greens, and four blues. And that's a way of sort of condensing that information. So instead of 16 different values of colors, we now have this nice table that's a little bit easier to read. And also, if you add on another column like this, you can make it into a cumulative frequency table, where as you're going down, you start to add up the frequencies. Like we start with six reds, and below that we have six reds and six greens, and below that we have six reds, six greens, and four blues to make up 16, which is how many different pieces of candy we pulled out of the bag. So that is the frequency distribution and the cumulative frequency table slash distribution. Those are just two different ways of showing qualitative data in a way that's a little bit easier to look at than raw data.